All right. Today we're going to show how to create a fake website in order to grab a victim's credential by using Social Engineer Toolkit, especially an attack called Credential Harvester. So now I need the address of my virtual machine, but it looks really odd to me. So I'm going to check my network settings in this virtual machine, and that's why it looks like this. All right. I wanted to make sure. Anyway, uh, now we need to paste this IP address into this field here for our credential harvester. Now we need to know the URL of the site we want to clone. In this case, I'm going to try with Gmail. Now, Social Engineer Toolkit is cloning the website, it will take a while. And like you see, we got a darn error. I never experienced this error in the older virtual machine I used with the previous Kali Linux rolling version. After some investigation I found out the way to solve this issue is to reinstall Social Engineer Toolkit because the newer versions fix this bug and so we shouldn't have any more problems. Okay, let's get fingers crossed and let's wait for this update to get completed. Alright, so I'm starting over and I will perform the same attack once more. Okay, now we'll see if what I read online was legit or not. And we solved the problem. Okay, so we're good to go. All I need to do now is to open the fake website. Of course, I'm going to use my own virtual machine, but you must imagine this website was contained in a phishing email or something like that. Okay. I entered the username, but I can't go on for some reason. This is another weird issue, too, that i never seen before. Anyway, the problem is that when you click Next, you're redirected to the real Gmail. And as a matter of fact, Credential Harvester grabbed the username I entered, which is, by the way, true. It's not made up. As a matter of fact, as of today, Gmail isn't the ideal website for us to perform such an attack because Google introduced this uh, first page where you had to enter your Google account and then you're redirected to the Gmail login page. And that's enough to prevent an attacker from grabbing both username and password. In fact, you can grab the username, like we see here, example of hack, which is a true Gmail account, by the way, but not the password. In fact, scrolling down, you see password separation sign in, and that's what Google implemented. That's a good solution that prevents this type of attack from being successful. For this reason, I'm going to try this attack with a different website, LinkedIn, a big social media website, where you had to enter both username and password to log in. So we now got to wait for a while for the website to be cloned. All right, now we can access LinkedIn 
and I'm going to enter my fake credentials here because I'm not going to show you my real account, of course. Okay. In Credential Harvester on the other side, you can see both credentials were grabbed. So we have username, example, and password 12345. Of course, none of these are real. Now, if we abort the session, Social Engineer Toolkit will generate a report for us. In the older version, uh, the file was created in the var directory. Uh, see, uh, this is the report in HTML format, and where we can see the fields we're looking for, which is username and password. The toolkit generates the report both in HTML and XML format. This is the XML file, where we can see the same fields pretty much. Only it's a little more readable, probably. Okay, it looks like a mess, but in fact it makes much sense, because here we can see our URL, the IP address of the attacking website here, username and password. So that's all I have for you today. Hope you have fun. Bye-bye.